Hi guys, in this video I wanted to show you how to install Melody M into your accordion. And we're gonna go step by step going through every single step how to install it and we'll zoom in on things and we'll make it super easy for you to follow this, uh, this video and install it yourself. Um, before we get started I wanted to kind of get at the basics um, as I'm gonna be referring to them all the time. Um, there's three things that are important about this accordion. There's the melody section which is right here. This is your for your for your right hand. So your right hand melody section, which is just this top portion. There's the bellows, which is right in the middle. And there's the bass section right here, where your bass and your chords are. Right over here. Now this will be called your bottom, because when you're holding the accordion, this is going to be your bottom section. And this is going to be your top section over here. So once again, this is your melody, this is your bellows, this is your bass and chords bottom and top. Okay, let's get started. Um, I'm going to go through a couple tools that you're going to need. Um, there's might be a few little variations, but you'll see uh, further on. But the very basic tools you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver, just like that, not a very big one. Um, wire cutters with flatheads on top, and they kind of look like this. And you'll see what we'll use them for. You just need it for really just one moment. Um, I guess uh, a drill, uh, just like this, with a couple different drill bits, just like that. Um, very important, uh, double sticky tape. This is 3M. 3M is really good um, with this double sticky tape. They have uh, a couple different um, adhesive levels. This one is the strong one. This, is, this one is about four pounds per inch, which is super strong, actually. Um, but you don't have to have such a strong tape. You can get away with using um, some of their lighter ones. Just make sure it actually has some dampening to it. Um, that when you peel it off, it actually has about uh, a millimeter uh, thickness to it. And it's got, some, it's got some squish to it. So that's very important. Also, in the bellows, we're going to be using um, uh, painter's tape, also by 3M. Um, they have this one in wider and different colors. Um, really, you can never go wrong with 3M uh, painter's tape. It's, it's going to be very useful as we're installing this. Okay, um, so I guess let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove this top cover, this Melody cover. Um, there's two thumb wheels, which I've already removed. They're just two thumb wheels on both sides on top here. You'll easily find them. They are 95% of all accordions. Um, they're just right here on top. As you remove them, you just take them off, set them aside. Then, you'll be able to easily lift this cover. Now, this cover is extremely important uh, for us because the melody section of the uh, microphone is going to be right here. We're going to use double sticky tape to put the melody section right here. And I've al already pre-drilled a hole for the jack, um, which is right here. Um, and this hole right here, the way that I did it is I just first is is very important to find a spot here where the jack will fit so it doesn't um, it doesn't interfere um, and let me let me turn this around and I'll, and I'll demonstrate that real quick. It's very important to and it's got to be usually we put them on the bottom. Um, actually it's a really good idea to put it on the bottom so that way you can go ahead and plug in on the bottom right side of your accordion right here. Um, and what's really important is the jack's going to go right here, but as you lift it, I would suggest lifting it like this and seeing inside as you're seeing and mark a spot, uh, perhaps using your jack already when you have your Melody M, and look inside and see when you close it, does it interfere with any of these keys? So, and you'll be able to hear when you, if you actually leave the jack inside or you can kind of at least see I mean, here you can clearly see there's way, way more than enough space because there's, there's all this space right here between uh, these keys here. So you can actually put your jack that goes right here. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to bring in the Melody M uh, model MX7HD. This is the smaller one since this, uh, this is a smaller accordion. I'm going to bring in the smaller uh, version, which is seven, uh, uh, MX7HD. We also have... Uh, there's also 7, uh, 11 HD, which is the bigger one. It's got three microphones. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, so here we are. We have 
uh, the Melody M7 HD um, right over here. Um, this is the part that's going to be, uh, this is the jack and this portion is going to go and get fitted right inside here just like that. Um, and we're going to go ahead and secure them, <coughs> secure this inside in just one second. What I wanted to say is there's two more holes that are going to need to be made in the actual cover and these are for the potentiometers for the volume knobs for the right side and for the left side. Um, before we go ahead and drill any holes and I'm being very careful with the actual microphone so I'm going to set it down is let's go ahead and go back to the accordion for a minute. So here what's really important is that these two knobs they're going to sit right over here and the reason why I want to put them over here is because um, th they're actually, are we here? Yeah. So they're going to sit right over here. And the reason why I want to put them there is because there's, there's more than enough room underneath not to mess with the actual keys as they rise up. So how do we know where to put these? So go ahead and kind of pick it up just like this and find spots over here where there is kind of, uh, quite in this accordion there's quite a lot of room sometimes you won't have a lot of room here so find a spot in between these two keys right here like somewhere in between and mark that spot so to do that what we're gonna do is where's my pen here it is okay so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do a light mark um, so first of all what I want to do is actually place it so it's somewhat evenly distributed somewhere here and somewhere here now let's go ahead and look underneath when, where there's room here. Underneath here you can see that a little bit off right here and right here there's, there's space right there and there's space right here. Um, there's actually more than enough space underneath but um, we're gonna go ahead and put the two knobs one over here and one over here. Um, so from that point what you could do is kind of see exactly where you want to put it and go ahead and mark it on this side and say this is where I want to put it and on this one go ahead and, and mark it just like that so here's where um, here's where the two spots where I'm going to drill I'm going to use a, a quarter inch drill bit uh, to go ahead and make one and two holes right in there. Um, I'm first going to go ahead and drill a pilot hole with some uh, with, with a much smaller uh, drill bit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a piece of wood to put it underneath and we'll be right back. Okay so what I've done is actually I've got two pieces of wood here of the same height and I went ahead and I put them underneath where I'm gonna be drilling. Um, what I've also done is taken a ruler and I looked uh, where I marked the spots and I kind of just made them a lot more even going from the center piece I made it one inch away from our switches So about one inch away. I made uh, These marks here as you can see this one is one inch away and this one is about one inch away So let's go ahead and drill the pilot holes Just like that make sure your battery is charged unlike mine. It's <laughs> kind of on its last light, but I think it'll do the trick. Okay, so one pilot hole is done, and let's do the other one. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch up the bit um, to accommodate a quarter inch. Um, this is actually um, these volume knobs, the potentiometers themselves, they are six, uh, six millimeter diameter so uh, a quarter inch should fit just fine. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this hole up. Okay, 
Now to, if you'd like, what you could do, actually I'm going to go ahead and clean it right away. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up right away. Thank you. Okay. So another thing which you could do is clean these up a little bit with uh, with a file. But uh, for our intents and purposes, we are good to go. Let's go ahead and actually fit these these guys inside. And as you can see, they are they fit. Now, the next thing to do is very carefully holding the microphone and go ahead and put everything back on and just make sure, oh, this is perfect. As you can see here, it's actually touching. Listen to this. It's actually touching the potentiometer. That's something that you want to avoid. So perfect. So what's going on? Let's take a closer look. So here, the hole was just big enough for the top portion of the of the um, of the potentiometer but not the entire thing so here what we actually need to do is get a bigger drill bit that's a little bit bigger to accommodate for the threads because the threads are a little bit bigger so let me go ahead and get a bigger drill bit and we'll be right back we're back so I went ahead and I replaced the bit and the accurate size for the drill bit that you actually need for this is going to be uh, the biggest you want to go with is 3 8 um, but the actual size is 5 16 would do just fine. 5 16 to 3 8 anywhere in between there, as long as it's going to be smaller than this, than this washer here, which is going to go on there. So let's go ahead and make these holes a little bigger. Okay. Okay, so we are good to go. Let's go ahead and clean this up real quick, just a little bit. Okay, we are all cleaned up. So let's go ahead and let's set the drill aside over here. Let's go ahead and try, try these brand new holes by putting these right through. And as you can see now, they are flush like that and you and you, you could see we could have used a, a little bit of a smaller drill bit but once we put this over it covers up really well and when we put the actual potentiometer over it it should be just fine um, and when we go ahead and put this one back you can see nothing is touching it and our volume control is nice and tight here and nothing, nothing is touching. So we are good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and gently set everything back down. And now the fun starts. Now we're going to go ahead and install the entire thing. So we'll be right back. Hi guys, we're back. So now that we have the holes ready, um, let's go ahead and get the Melody M uh, pickup and kind of set it down and get a good idea of where everything is going to go. So. The best place or a suggested place to put these mics is actually as far away kind of pointing a little bit towards the actual uh, uh, towards the actual accordion um, inside here so if I was to I mean you could experiment and put it closer this way or in the middle or that way but I would suggest uh, putting it uh, with the best results we've gotten that I've seen is putting it closer to to about right here somewhere um, in, in this like in this region right here. That way it covers the entire the entire accordion. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and use double sticky tape. And what's really important is please do not use one strip of double sticky tape on the entire thing. You want to actually decouple uh, the microphone from the actual, um, from the cover. So we're gonna use just two pieces um, two to three pieces of, uh, of double sticky tape um, just like that we're gonna go ahead and place them you can put it right over the um, actually I don't I never do put them right over the soldering joints and 
the way that I put it is right under the microphone, so you, or not right under it, like next to the microphone, but not right under the microphone. And I'll put another piece right in the center and one piece over there of double sticky tape. Center piece could be a little bigger. Just like so. We're going to go ahead and put that in the center. And one little piece, just for peace of mind, we're going to go ahead and actually let's make it a little smaller and put it right here kind of over that solder joint but all the way to the side here so and now we can go ahead and actually place the microphone we can go ahead and place it right here um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the other side of the double sticky tape like that there we go and I'm gonna go ahead and place it in the center kind of right here and try so the biggest thing is to never push on these microphones they are precision built microphones so when you push on them like that you actually can seriously mess up the diaphragm so it's very important to actually push on the actual tape like that that's how it gets activated and just a little bit, a little push, and not on the capacitors or resistors here, just on the actual board. I'm going to go ahead and press down a little bit. So now it's it's really secured in there. Um, for the next part, we're going to go ahead and put these in in these holes, just like that, kind of like this. Now, very important part here, this extremely important part, is to put double sticky tape under the wire. Make sure the wire is actually not touching this cover. Make sure the wire is actually decoupled from um, from the actual cover. So let's go ahead and do that now. This guy. Let's go ahead and get a couple of these ready to go. Just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and place this just like that on the wire just like that I'm gonna go ahead and put this other piece on top just like that and if you have room under your accordion you can actually decouple it with two pieces underneath so as you can see I've kind of made one of these guys you see that wonderful I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's nice and cozy here and I'm gonna go ahead and just press it a little bit we're gonna do all the pressing later I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same process real quick for the second piece so it's sandwiched between yeah so it's actually sandwiched between uh, the two um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I'm gonna sandwich these two together just like that do it just like this and I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is um, really nicely in here just like that and make sure this is good here okay so now we have so this wire is actually you could potentially actually put another piece of tape underneath there you don't want this wire to do one of these because all that is going to get coupled right inside the microphone. So you want to decouple all these wires, especially if you move around a lot when you play. So let's go ahead and do the same exact thing here. Let's go ahead and get two more pieces and sandwich the other, the other portion of the wire right here. Go ahead and do that. Just like so. I'm going to go ahead and remove the bottom tape. And let's make sure it's nice and cozy here. Just like that. And I'll do one more piece real quick. Just like that. Yep. Okay. And we're 
going to go ahead and take off this nut and screw, or washer and screw. Put it through here, and we're going to go ahead and take off this double sticky tape. Put it right on here. Now, this part is secure. Now, the next thing is to do the same exact uh, thing with this with this jack wire. You want to do exactly the same thing. So you want to decouple it from everything. Um, excuse me. I'm getting a phone call. That's okay. So um, let's go ahead and decouple this guy just like that. right on top just like so just like that and I'm gonna go ahead and place it right over here okay so this is what we've got so far now for the most I guess exciting part is well, I'm gonna clean up a little bit I like to clean up I'll keep a clean area as I'm working Let's put this garbage um, now, very important thing for probably the most exciting part is that this female connector, we want to be able to put a double sticky tape piece right here and also decouple this wire as well from here. So let's go ahead and use one piece for the actual connector. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the side. What's really important here, so one side has kind of a belt clip and it's right here and it's for the female connector which we're going to be working with so make sure not to put the tape on this side but on the flat side more or less flat side once you put that there you can go ahead and take off this tape just like this and go ahead and put it to the side just like this now don't push on these too hard because uh, it, there could be a case where when you put it on and you notice that it's touching some of the keys as you press them You might actually need to take these off and replace them to other portions But in this one, I'm pretty sure everything will be just fine for us um, So for the last piece, let's go ahead and Decouple one more piece of wire And we should be pretty much all set with the top portion Let's Go ahead. I'm gonna use one tape for both of these guys. And we're gonna go ahead and take off this piece. Just make sure that you know just uh I'm gonna feel a little bit more comfortable here, so what I'll do is I'll actually put one more piece underneath here, and that's just so that way it's decoupled even more from there. Okay, so now our whole set is pretty much put together. Um, the only thing we would have to do now is as we flip this, we want to go ahead and put the washer and the nut on these. We'll put the finishing touches on later when we put the actual knobs on here, the uh, aluminum, the black aluminum knobs, we'll put them on uh, as the last, as the last thing. But for now, we have everything here. Let's go ahead and see how everything fits. Just want to go through and really listen. Make sure nothing is being touched. And if it is being touched, you'll hear the wire kind of go ding, ding, ding. Okay, so we're good to go on this one. Everything is looking good here. So we can go ahead and actually set this aside. This was probably the most difficult part now that we're done with it. Let's go ahead and put it in a safe place and uh, let's get going on the inside of the accordion. Um, yeah, that's it.